four-week challenge for you to get into the best shape ever so that you look and feel your best in that new dress. So here's how we're going to do it. Each week, I will give you a series of strength, core, or cardio exercises using your total gym. It's up to you to do the extra cardio on your own. So let's go and learn the exercises for week one's workout using your total gym. Week one's workout includes strength and core exercises. We will do this in circuit form. That means you'll do one exercise after the other, 15 to 20 reps, and then once you've done all the exercises, go back and repeat it one more time. Start out at a low to medium level on your incline. Take your cables, face away from your tower, and lie down on your glide board. Extend the arms overhead for pullover crunch. As you lift the arms down towards your sides, crunch your core and activate it. Next, you'll sit up, rotate to the side for seated twist. Angle your body towards the tower. Rotate away from the tower to work through your middle. Next, we will go into surf or pool. You'll kneel down, start with your arms reaching, keep your core engaged, extend through your spine as your arms come down by your sides. Next, you will go into bicep row. Keep your spine lifted, core engaged, and do one bicep, one row. Anchor down, lower your incline down to a low level. Disconnect your pulley, place it into the pulley pocket, and you'll go to the very end of your machine for reverse lunge and twist. Keep your eyes focused to keep your balance. Lunge one leg back and rotate over the front knee. Be sure to do both sides. Next. We do plank knee tucks. Place your hands at the very bottom base, extend through your legs, and then you'll tuck your knees all the way in towards your chest, keeping your core engaged. Last, we will bring our bodies up for plie pulses. So you'll take your arms out to the side, having them very activated, bend your knees and stay as low as you can with the thighs parallel to the floor. Pulse down. Once you've gone through all those exercises, go ahead and repeat that circuit one more time through. Now let's go on to day two's exercises. We will do the same ones that we did for day one, however, they will change slightly. So connect your cable back to the glide board. Lift your incline back up to a lower or medium level, and then you'll take the cables facing away for your pullover crunch, legs extended. As you crunch up, extend the legs out. Keep your back pressing in towards the glide board. Next, you'll roll up, anchor down, and then kneel on your knees for a kneeling, kneeling twist. Rotate your torso away. Keep your core engaged. Next, we'll go ahead and lower the incline down. Now remember, you're going to be doing the other exercises in between. I'm just demonstrating the new ones that have changed. Lower your incline back down to a low level. Facing away from your tower, one foot is on your glide board, you'll go down for reverse repeater twisting lunges. So you'll stay really low into this to activate through your legs and through your glutes. Next, we'll come into the plie, but this time you're up on your toes to add more intensity. So go as low as you can, keeping your thighs parallel to the floor. Arms are extended for balance, and they're strong. Stay on your toes and keep the range of motion very, very small. We're gonna add dips, so bring your incline back up to a medium level. You'll come to the edge of your glide board, and you'll lift your hips up, dipping your body as low as you can. For more of a challenge, you can open up your glide board and try to keep it there as you do the same motion. And last but not least, for we, for day two, you'll bring your body up, holding onto your glide board for your core, knees in and out. You lift your hips, extend the legs out as you extend. Let's get set up for day three. You'll connect your pulley back to your glide board. Take your cables 
and you'll go for a kneeling diagonal twist. So you're on your knees, and instead of going straight across, you're going to go up at an angle. Now if this is too intense, you can take it with only one cable for the same movement. Next, anchor down, grab a kneeling position again for bicep pulses and rows. So you'll stay contracted with your core engaged for tiny little pulses, biceps, and then tiny pulses with your rows. The next change are pike, pike ups. So you're going to change from moving the cable, bringing it back down to a low level, and instead of bending those knees, you're going to pike the hips up. So hands are at the very bottom, legs are extended, you'll lift your hips up to engage your core. Now instead of our plies with our toes, we're going to go into plie jumps. So you'll come up, landing nice and low, and then the next change, you're going to go into your hand being back up at your medium for leg extensions, straight leg extensions. So the legs will extend all the way out and all the way down, keeping your core engaged. And then our last change are squat taps. So you'll come at the very end of your total gym, and you're gonna lift up, tap your hips down. Keep your core engaged, and try to get as low as you can using full range of motion of your thighs. You'll repeat that whole cycle again, one to two times. Good luck this week with our Strength and Core Circuit Challenge. I'll see you on week two.